Hello, hello, Sarah of SEK Handmade here, and today I want to share with you how to work in the front loop only and the back loop only. <laughs> Let's go. What we are going to be talking about today is how you insert your hook into the V's of stitches that you have already made. When you work just a regular stitch, uh, whether it's a single crochet, a double crochet, a half double crochet, you are inserting your hook through both of the loops of the V to make your stitch. So that is how a classic stitch works. I'm going to show you a different way to do that that makes some really fun texture. As you look at the loops of your V here, there is one that is to the front or closest to you and one that is towards the back of your work or away from you. And that is called, those are called the front loop and the back loop. No matter how you turn your work, so if you're working flat and you turn your work, the loop that is closest to you is always the front loop and the loop that is always further away is the back loop. So they don't stay steady <laughs> um, based on the front and the back of your work. It's always that the one closest to you is the front loop and the one furthest away from you is the back loop. So let's talk about working through the front loop only. And that is hopefully how you'll see it referred to in a pattern, front loop only, which is abbreviated F-L-O most of the time. So I'm going to single crochet front loop only, but half double crochet, double crochet, treble crochet, any stitch that is designated as front loop only will be inserted in the same manner um, it does, the front loop doesn't change just because the stitch changes. So I'm going to insert just through my front loop of that V and I'm going to insert from, let me get that out of there. <laughs> I'm going to insert from front to back up through the center of that V. So I've only grabbed the front loop. If you are looking at that and thinking, that's the way I've always been crocheting, <laughs> that is not uncommon for beginners to only snag that front loop, but it is a different kind of stitch. So make sure that when you are to be working through the front loop only, that you grab just the front loop. And when it doesn't say front loop only, to go ahead and work through both the front and the back loop so that your stitches form correctly and you get uh, the texture that is in the design. So then you're just going to yarn over and pull up a loop and work your stitch as normal. So I'm going to do that again. I'm going to insert my stitch from front to back only in the loop that's closest to me, the front loop. Yarn over, pull up my loop, and work my single crochet. I'm going to work a whole row of this so that I can show you the cool texture that it creates on the other side of the fabric. All right, so I've worked that full row of front loop only, and you can see that when I only work through the front loop, it leaves the back loop hanging out on the other side of the fabric. So I get that really cool line of um, yarn there that gives a really neat texture. So let's talk about working through the back loop only. The front loop is closest to you and the back loop is always further away or on the back side of the work, no matter how the work is facing you, remember. So we're, um, if we flip it, the back loop is still the furthest one away and the front loop is towards you. To work through the back loop, you're still going to go from front to back, but you're kind of going in the top of that V. 
So there's my V, my front loop, and my back loop. I'm going to go kind of in between the V, insert from front to back, and work my stitch, which I'm working single crochets here, but any back loop only stitch is uh, worked just through that back loop and worked in the same way the stitch is normally worked. So through the center of the V, kind of through the top, from front to back, pull up a loop, yarn over, and finish your single crochet. Now you can see that already because I'm working through the back loop, it leaves the texture on the front of my work here so I can see it as I'm stitching it that I've got that line of front loops hanging out on the front. I'm going to finish this row so that you can see what the whole entire thing looks like. So there you go, working in the back loop only leaves that nice little row of front loops hanging out in front of my stitches, which gives a really neat texture. Working through the front and the back loops gives a slightly different texture. You can see this is where I worked through uh, my front loop only, and this is where I worked through my back loop only, and they are slightly different, but they give that really that little stripe of yarn, which is really cool. You can see these are the stitches that I worked through both loops. These are the stitches I worked through my front loop only, and these are the stitches I worked through my back loop only. Play with it a little bit. Do a few rows of front loop only, a few rows of back loop only, alternate back and forth, and just see what kind of of neat textures you can get. It can really be a lot of fun. Thank you so much for joining me today. I think you will find that working only in one loop gives you some really interesting texture and really helps expand your crochet skills. It is always my goal to help you grow confidently in your craft. If you feel like this video has done that, I would love it if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you again for joining me today, and happy crafting!